If you have been waiting for an RTX 4000 series graphics card that will not cost you an arm and a leg, something priced well below $1000 then I have good news for you, RTX 4070 Ti is on its way. We even know the exact date when it will launch. So in this video, I will tell you everything we know about the RTX 4070 Ti, including its specs, gaming performance, release date and price. Before that, a quick message from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. In terms of specs, we know exactly what to expect because 4070 Ti is the exact same product as RTX 4080 12GB version that was cancelled earlier after a massive community backlash. In that cancellation statement, Nvidia hinted that they will rename and launch it again at a later date. Quote, the RTX 4080 12GB is a fantastic graphics card, but it's not named right. And now, thanks to the latest leaks, we know that this graphics card will return under the RTX 4070 Ti name, which suits it much better judging by the performance and value it offers. 4070 Ti features 7680 CUDA cores, 2.6 GHz core clock boost, and 12 GB of 21 GB per second GDDR6X memory. The default power consumption is 285 watts. The performance for this product was officially revealed by Nvidia, so the information is pretty solid. First, let's have a look at the benchmarks that do not use ray tracing. In Microsoft Flight Simulator, 4070 Ti produces 53 FPS, which is equal to 3090 Ti. It is mighty impressive considering that a D104 GPU inside the 4070 Ti is a smaller chip and it consumes a lot less energy. Just 285 watts versus 450 watts. However, this is not the case in all games. For example, in A Plague Tale Requiem, 4070 Ti is closer to the RTX 3080 level of performance. Now let's have a look at the benchmarks where ray tracing is enabled. 68 FPS average at 4K resolution in Spider-Man Remastered is pretty good. This result shows that 4070 Ti is able to compete with 3090 Ti not only in raster, but in ray tracing performance as well. F1 2022 is another game where ray tracing was enabled to perform the benchmark. Here, 4070 Ti is just 3 frames behind the 3090 Ti. Using this limited dataset, we can calculate that RTX 4070 Ti is on average 7% slower than 3090 Ti. Personally, I expect to see 4070 Ti to be on par with 3090 or 3080 Ti when we test a larger number of games. Now let's talk about the release date. According to the latest leaks, Nvidia plans to reveal the RTX 4070 Ti on January 3rd, then allow all the reviews to go live on January 4th, and the first day it would be available to buy is planned for January 5th. The price remains a mystery for now. The original pricing for the RTX 4080 12GB version was $899, because Nvidia thought it could get away with charging so much by slapping a 4080 name on this product. But I believe the company will find it extremely difficult to keep the same MSRP on a 4070 Ti. Just a reminder, RTX 3070 Ti launched at $599 MSRP. I think that $700 would be a reasonable price for the RTX 4070 Ti. However, I expect Nvidia to price it at $799. What do you think about the RTX 4070 Ti? Let's chat in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. It was I, Vadim, until next time.